Hi there everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today on the 4th of January. It's a very exciting day because tomorrow being the 5th, we can start ordering from the new mini catalogue and start earning the new celebration products. So that is my last day in my product previews. So I've gone all out and decided to preview three separate celebration items today on one card. I know, being extravagant. So celebration is a great time. It means that when you shop from our normal mini catalogue or our annual catalogue, you can earn rewards that can be transferred into free gifts. I can't show you inside the celebration brochure at the moment because we can't show it online until it is live on the 5th, but do check back tomorrow because I will have a video that explains and goes through and shows you everything in this brochure. But whenever you spend or shop with me and you make a sale of £45, you get one level free, no, one level one item free, there's my tongue twister for the day, from this catalogue. If you spend £90, you get two level one items for free or one level two. And it doesn't matter how much you spend, you can collect all of these. They do have to be placed in one order. You can't spend £30 today and £15 next week. It has to be in one order but you can accumulate in that order multiple different celebration stamp sets. So say for instance, you order £135, you can order three level one products. And my three level one products that I've got to show you today is the Heal Your Heart Cling Stamp Set, the Corner Bouquet Cling Stamp Set, and the Oh So Ombre DSP. I've used all three of these to create this note card and I took inspiration for this from Pinterest and I will add a link to the pin in the description bar below. Okay, so these two stamp sets I love. I think they go really well together because this one is all graphics and images and this one is all sentiments. So they work as a really nice pair together. And this DSP, you get 48 sheets, it's six by six. It comes in Bermuda Bay, which is do, 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 all of those ones and all of these spotty ones at the back. I've already used so many of them that I'm starting to run out of the paper I've got. <laughs> and on the opposite side of the Bermuda Bay, you have Rochia Rose. Isn't that gorgeous? And then over here, you have got um is it blackberry bliss or rich raspberry and on the other side you have granny apple green okay so there's a whole mixture i'm going to be using the granny apple green one today for this card so you're going to need your trimmer ideally for this card and you're going to be taking advantage of the ombre effect so what i have got is my base cardstock which is a piece of thick whisper white that's been cut in half scored in half and turned into a card like that so this is 10 and a half centimeters by 14.85 centimeters i'm going to cut my card to match so first of all i'm going to cut it at 10 and a half centimeters I say card, it's paper, and it is a very nice um, paper. It's it's thick enough to be, you know, substantial, but it is still thin enough that it is paper, um, which I always think is really nice if you're doing 3D projects. And then I'm going to cut it down at 14.85, so it fits, hopefully... Spot on with my card with no frame, which it does, which is nice. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my trimmer to create a frame. This is dead simple to do. You want to create a frame at two centimeters all the way around. So I'm just going to pop my card on two centimeters and I use the bottom. I find it easier to measure at the bottom because it's right in front of my face. But I do realise actually as I'm doing it, you can't see the bottom. So I'm going to go up the top 
um, and there's the two centimeters you can use two centimeters on either side I like using it where I have a whole top bit to rest my card on on here I feel you can wiggle because you've got you know an overhang whereas if you do it this way I feel it's stuck properly up there and there's no wiggle room at all which I like because I have shaky hands <laughs> so I'm going to take this up and I'm going to guesstimate where two centimeters is which I know is not very good but if you actually use this line it's about there okay and you can cut all the way up to that line okay it doesn't matter if it's not spot on that is not the point of it because you're going to go all the way around and do this and then at the end you'll be able to easily work out and see where else you need to go so two centimeters I'm just going to keep turning your paper around and sitting it in at two centimeters on the last one it's easy because you've got this line here so you can check you're lined up with that and lined up with that you can then see where you need to cut more of see that corner I did spot on the other corners I haven't quite got there so I'm just going to go in line it up do that extra bit down there and do the extra bit there okay when you come to the end if you don't want to line it back up you can easily then just fit your snips in and trim it that extra little bit it should really just pop out and that's created me a perfect frame with no cut marks if I'd have cut that out normally I'd have had cut marks here this is now one solid piece okay so what I'm going to do means it's an ombre sheet is I'm going to turn it over like that And place it in like that so you actually have you still got the middle ombre effect but this bit's got the dark now and this bit's got the dark and I really just like that I this was what I saw on um Pinterest and I just thought it was such a clever effect they'd done it with the ratio rose one and um I thought you know what I love that that's so clever and so simple and I'm gonna do it so I'm using my memento ink and I'm gonna ink up the whole of this big corner on corner bouquet so you've actually got a big one a slightly smaller one and then you've got some little effect bits that you can pop in I am just playing with a big corner make sure it's inked you can do this on the Stamparatus if you're not sure about block stamping if it's easier but I'm gonna risk it you just really want to once you inked it you really want to push it down to make sure that you've got every bit of it because without doing it on the stamper artist you can't re-go over it and there we go isn't that just a lovely lovely image i think it's great and it looks like a silhouette so i'm i'm dead happy with that the thank you that is going to be inked and stamped just at the top there and it's going to fall completely in the middle panel like that i love the fonts on that stamp set i think it's just cute so then i need my base card stuck and i've got my two pieces i'm going to run some stamping seal around the edge of this you can use tombow if it's easier for you because you can then reposition it that is no problem because you want to get it right first time so if if you aren't great at placing your paper use your tombow which is probably a lesson that i should use because i'm not very great with placing paper but uh i like using seal because at the time i feel it just um it's quicker so you want to pop that down on your base this is what i mean if you're going to mess it up which i have just done can you believe oh look at that right if you do that we're going to fix that on this oh i feel so annoyed with myself i actually said about that so what you, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to chop that up there 
take that off completely, get my snips out. That has really made me not very happy. Because I said, didn't I? I said, if you're not straight, oh, so angry with myself over that. I should have used Tombow. I was trying to be quick. And now, look, I've made the video longer, so... And I'm bashing my thing. I'm not, 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 not in a major mood. I'm just, uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't like being proved wrong. Well, being proved right in this instance, I suppose. Right, ten and a half centimetres. Let's get another base. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to two centimetres again. And I'm going to just score... that line again in there and I'm going to make my frame again so this is all what we did earlier but if you've gone wrong like I have this is going to be really useful for you if, if you're sitting there because you did it with multi-purpose liquid glue and you're looking quite smug going, this is, that's how I did it straight away, Hells. Well played. And that one just needs a little snip just there. So after I've proved to you which glue is the most successful to use... <laughs> I'm going to pretend like I did it on purpose. <laughs> there we go. We're back where we started pretty much. I still have a little bit of white there, so I'm just going to trim that down. But it just shows you, you can recover from anything. You can, you can sort these out yourselves if it goes wrong. And I've just got a much more solid frame now, which is all, always good. Okay, everybody at home... Guess what I'm going to be doing now? I'm going to be using Tombow. Like I said, repositionable works well. <laughs> so I'm going to pop some Tombow glue across there. <laughs> and that's going to give me some flexibility to get it all stuck down. You've got to laugh at yourself, haven't you? You've got to laugh at yourself. But there we go. So now, if you don't get it right, look at that. You can wiggle it. And there we go. So to finish this off, <laughs> the thank you here, I'm going to stick it up on some dimensionals so that it has some, um, it looks 3D and sits aside. You see this one just sits up on like a 3D-ness. I'm going to do that here. It might not stick up as much now because the other one's got a piece of card stuck underneath it. But we we know that happened. But the person who receives it and thinks, oh, this is a lovely card, they won't know I made that mishap. They won't know. I have stuck a few dimensionals down here. And admittedly, that one was a mistake because I didn't realise until I'd stuck it that there was two together but you do need a couple of dimensionals because this is thinner than card and you want it to stay upright so you're just going to pop that in the gap like that okay to finish it off i am using the very lovely elegant faceted gems i love these ones um you get them thin and big uh, little and big in clear a rose type colour and white and I'm using white because I find it really stands out nicely on this DSP and I'm using the smaller ones and I'm just going to pop them in the hole of that one Don't mind if you can... the hole of that one and the hole of this little one over there so it just gives it a little bit of sparkle on the card and there is my three 
celebration sets. And you can get them all free when you spend £135. And if you don't want to and you just like the paper, you can use this effect using one of our other stamp sets or using a sentiment from one of our other sets. Don't forget, the mini catalogue and the celebration goes live tomorrow. You can find all of the details over on my website and you can shop all of the products at www.slimandstylish.stampinapp.net. What do you think? I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.